I have a question. How do you deal with girl on top issue? She is writing with full control and I can come quicker because of that. Yes, I can play with controlling her hips and speed, but I still want her to enjoy it. I'm curious on your take on this. So you have a problem lasting when she's on top. That's the issue here. Um, well, the way we used to do this stuff, I mean, this is actually a perfect example. I used, this, this is my favorite position generally. Uh, I used to really enjoy that position when I was shooting porn and stuff, right? And the way we would do it is you'd, you'd save your, you'd do the one, you do the position where you're kind of most likely to orgasm and you as a dude are most likely to finish. You do that last. So it means, I mean, she's going to, she's going to enjoy herself no matter what, right? And you can actually get her to, to, to come very, very easily from cowgirl position as well. So, but maybe she enjoys a bit of variety. Maybe she enjoys a few other positions. Well, then start sex with those other positions. Start in doggy, start in missionary or whatever, and then end in cowgirl. Use it as your finisher, right? And, and even better, use it as a finisher for both of you. Time it together. So the two, so like she's been, she's building up and you're building her up closer and closer to her, to her orgasm. And then you switch up into cowgirl and you both finish at the same time. Incredibly powerful sexual bonding experience for both of you. And just super fun to be honest. But that's how you control it. I mean, the other way, any other way you can control it because typically because she's on top, it's harder for you to sort of, to pull out quickly if you need to pull out quickly um, because her body's on top of you, right? Just logistics. And she tends to take over more of the control of the rhythm. Women do when they're on top, they'll grind a bit more and they'll, they'll have more control of the pace and the rhythm of things. So it's a little bit less out of your, uh, less in your control. Unless you grab, under, like I've said, grab under her hips and you're the one dictating the pace. But even then, it's probably gonna, it might that's probably going to send you over the top as well anyway. So I would simply suggest going with positions where you're not going to pop as easily first, and then ending with this and using it as a way of climax, timing her and your climaxes together because that's super awesome. Women love that. Uh, it's a great experience, and everyone's happy at the end of the day. So uh, the only other thing I'd say is just try, is having her lay on you rather than sitting upright because when she's sitting upright she's fully in control of the rhythm and the grinding and it's harder for you to pull out if she is if you're in her and she's on top of you lay her so you're like like chests are touching and you're kissing then you can control the pace of your dick going in and out of her and the grinding motion a lot lot more and you can pull out if you need strategically just pull out and give it a break if you need to as well and that also gives you an opportunity, this is actually another another massive, massive win for you, is when she's in that position, you can whisper dirty shit in her ear. You can dirty talk in her ear. That is going to get it off. That is going to get her to climax so much faster uh, than if you're not using, than just by her writing. If she's there in front of you, damn, wasp. Uh, <laughs> and she's, uh, you know, you're just whispering dirty talk into her her ear while you're penetrating her like that you're gonna be able to get a climax quicker and, and then like i said before then the, then you can time the two of you orgasming together way way easier and it's going to be a fantastic experience for both of you so that would be my advice to you